Hey guys, what's going on? So I'm still getting over my cold, as you might be able to hear a little bit of my voice. <clears throat> but I thought I'd share because last night I decided to put together my sow and altar. <clears throat> and it was really funny because my husband came home in the middle of me doing this. And he's just like, what are you doing, Miss Witch? <laughs> But yeah, it's um it's a beautiful windy fall day here in Minnesota. It's like I think 54 out. <clears throat> I absolutely love this weather, but being sick, I can't go out yet and yeah, so I've been trying to just clean around my house a little bit. I really want to do a house tour soon, but my house is like never sufficiently clean because I have small children. So I'm a little self-conscious about that. But you guys will see <clears throat> bits and pieces of my house as I start to unroll this um, witchy home series that I'm working on. And I don't know when the first video is going to be filmed or come out yet. I'm still very heavily in the planning process. As if you guys saw my live the other night, I kind of discussed it briefly there. But yeah, so... <clears throat> Typically for Samhain, I tend to decorate right after Maybon, like within the week of it ending. And I leave it up till November 2nd. And then I usually start to decorate for Yule. So, um, but yeah, this, this is what I've got going on here. And <clears throat> as you guys know, I have an altar over here that is for deceased loved ones and those who have passed so we have um I've got a thing for my uncle my great grandmother with me my grandfather with me my mom and I and this is just another one of my favorite pictures with my grandmother who is still with us and my grandfather holding my hand and there's just a ton of other trinkets and some things from like my one of my cats when I was growing up and other things so <clears throat> And as I, every Samhain, I make an altar on, on my dining table. And again, if you saw my live, I discussed this kind of briefly as well. Where um, I put together some offerings for the dead and I have photos and stuff. So I, I will probably share that on Samhain. But this is my working altar that's going to be up until November 2nd. So... <clears throat> Or, you know, loosely November 2nd. Let's face it, I'm a parent. But, so here's what we got going on. Um, my son was actually just in here kind of messing around with stuff. So I had things a little bit different. But um, I still have to put this gold stone, gold palm stone in my diaper bag. That's why it's sitting there. But I have, um, I bought this in the spring. It's Dorothy Morrison's Ancestral Work candle. Which I might start burning before Samhain. Because I have had a couple of dreams lately that have been having to do with those who have passed that are close to me. So I am feeling the veil thinning. I don't know if anybody else is having any experiences like that, but I definitely am. So I've got two black candles right there. And then I have my drinking horn. I love this thing. I'm like so thrilled I got a drinking horn. And then... Things that are typically always on my altar, which is my Odin jar that I made, and my Freya candle, her offering bowl with offerings in it, the prayer beads that Ra Spirit Erica made me for Freya, and then my Freya statue, my Ra Rose quartz for Freya, and then woo, this kitty right here is Mount St. Helens Ash, and I always keep it by Freya as well. And then um, this necklace right here was my mom's. She actually wore it the last time that I saw her before she got sick. And when I was visiting after she passed away, my grandmother was giving me a few of her things to take home with me. And uh, that necklace was one of them. So, um, sorry guys, it's, it's, it's a little hard for me to talk about my mom. But um, try not to choke up. Um, <clears throat> so this right here is my grandfather's. My grandfather was a musician. And he played guitar, but he also played harmonica. I can open it with one hand. 
And for Christmas one year, my mom and my grandmother gave me one of his harmonicas. So it is really special to me. And then this lantern here, I light for every single time um, anybody that I know is dealing with grief. If they lose a pet or something, it's just basically a lantern to guide a soul to the other plane. And I light it on Samhain. And it burns all Samhain. Um, as long as I'm in the vicinity, of course, because fire is safety. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, so that that lantern is something I've done for a long time, and it's, it's kind of special to me. But yeah, and then I've got this really cool cloth. I love this cloth. It's so pretty. The ravens and the bats and, like, the branches. I really like this. I just got this this year. I know I shared it in another video. But, yeah, so that's my working Samhain altar. When I do my Samhain altar that's put up the day of, I will also share that as I said. And I know that I discussed it. If you guys caught my live, I did discuss my plans for Samhain. The Samhain's going to be interesting for me. There's a lot of good and there's a lot of um, stillness and a lot of contemplation and just a lot of grief that I will be facing as well so which is interesting because I really am finding that specifically this year my Samhain is going to be very kind of reminiscent of the death card in tarot I mean there's going to be a lot that I'm going to face and deal with and I don't want to necessarily say put to rest but maybe put move forward on there's going to be good things that come in i'm very excited to meet a couple of friends here on youtube <clears throat> we have plans right around Samhain, so um i'm very very thrilled for that and i look forward to that i look forward to taking my kids trick-or-treating i look forward to enjoying a holiday that i resonate with very deeply but with that comes the pain of putting my mom's picture up on that altar that i have done every year and last year around this time i, I never saw that coming so there's going to be that little pain with it too. I plan on doing a lot of divination and continuing to delve deeply into my tarot. Um, I'm readjusting, sorry. And I plan on maybe even doing a rune reading that night too. It just depends on how much energy I have. Hopefully I can do a bonfire. We're just going to see how it goes. But uh, speaking of, Miss Prudence always has to say hi in my videos. But yeah, that's um, my Samhain altar. And... I hope you guys are excited for the changing of the seasons and I hope that you are having a beautiful week. Mine has been super rough and I'm sick so yeah be patient with me as soon as I kind of recover from this trying emotional week and recover from my cold I'll start pumping out a little bit more videos but I just wanted to share this with you guys really quick. I wish you all well. Blessed be.